Welcome to your first mom and dad bod wad. Let's get it started. Our first exercise is the happy baby. Go ahead and lay on your back. We're trying to get the small of your back flat on the floor the entire time. To do that, bring your knees up as you see here. Knees about belly button level and maintain that position. If you need to, scoop your butt under just a little bit to maintain that flat back. We don't want to feel those back muscles overworking. For the goblet squat, hold that weight in front of your heart. You want to sit your butt back like you're being karate chopped in the hips and sit back down into the chair. Just make sure your knees are staying over your feet, not going in or out, and that those knees aren't diving way forward into your toes, which won't happen if you're thinking about sitting back into a chair. Exercise number three on the docket is the half kneeling pull apart. You're going to get into half kneeling in a quality half kneeling position as you learned prior. Grab that band of resistance of choice and simply pull the band apart as far as you can and keeping those shoulders down away from your ears. Back to the happy baby for round two. If you're ready for it, to make it more challenging, you can do some leg and arm movement. So maintaining the knees bent, you can do some heel taps, you can reach opposite arms overhead, all while maintaining that flat back the entire time and breathing through your abdomen is extremely important. couple more tips for the goblet is to make sure your feet stay completely flat so the entire foot needs to stay flat on the ground so it's not arching or you're not lifting the heels or the toes full uh, foot flat also if you're having trouble sitting back into the chair put something behind you or literally sit back into a chair and stand up for support With the pull apart, make sure you're choosing a resistance that's challenging, but also allows you to get full range of motion. So you're creating that full T and range and that band is touching your chest. Keep those shoulders down and make sure you're not arching your back in order to get some more of that stretch. You're not pushing your chest into the band, you're pulling it apart. That is it for coaching cues, tips and tricks. I will see you on the other side for post workout banter.
There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away you enjoy it all right if it's pretty easy for you don't worry we can make this one harder or you make the next ones harder um, by just changing up a little bit you always add more resistance and more weight more reps faster cadence uh, different ways to change it up so we start simple and easy first move the happy baby as we went over in the training program as well as the breathing is you hold that position as you saw I add some arm and leg movements in there move two is the goblet squat. The goblet squat, um, you hold it in front of your chest and you squat. We went over it to training, you throw it in there. And then lastly is the half kneeling pull apart. So same thing as I showed you before, 
hands, grab onto the band, pick your resistance, pull apart, making sure you keep the shoulders down towards your back pockets, not up in the ears like this. All right, pull apart in the half kneeling to make it more challenging, more resistance, more reps, uh, get narrower in your stance. Uh, switch sides, it's not a huge deal, but just try to remember to switch sides if you're half kneeling as you go, uh, as you go along. Um, I believe I might have flip-flopped one of them. I did a um, band or before the squat, but either way, um, just make sure you get those three moves in, switch sides on the pull apart, and add some variations to the happy baby if you'd like. Uh, there's plenty more where that came from. That's one out of 30. So uh, take that. Hope you did a great job with it. Hope you enjoyed it and get excited for the next uh, set of videos coming up.